All right, my friend Newt Gingrich wrote a brilliant essay. It's called America Needs an Honest Adult Conversation. Originally dated uh, January 12th, popped up a little later on Fox. Everybody should read it. Everybody. Joining me now, the aforementioned uh, Newt Gingrich, uh, former Speaker of the House. Newt, welcome back, as always, sir. Newt, look at. Um, I'm just going to go. You have so many fabulous points here. We talked about it on the radio. But one of them pops up today, and it's infuriating. Um, the expansion of pervasive discrimination has been a shocking violation of more than seven decades of effort to end segregation and move toward integrated uh, America. Uh, being a white male is a guarantee of discriminatory treatment. Now, what I'm getting at here is I am offended by this Biden pledge starting the campaign and they're redoing it again and Stephen Breyer's going to retire from the Supremes that they have to have a black woman. Now, if their black woman is the most qualified person, fine. God bless her. But that shouldn't be the criteria. Race, ethnicity, gender, I mean, that's just what you're getting at here. And I opened the show with that thought, and I want to put it to you. Um, I'm just offended by that. Well, look, I think the country at large feels the same way you do. Uh, at the American Majority Project, we asked the question, do you agree with Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. that the content of your character matters more than the color of your skin? The country was 91 to 6 uh, in favor of measuring character, not measuring skin color. Uh, the, the folks, uh, Matt Towery and his folks at Inter Insider Advantage just released a national poll and had overwhelming opposition, including, by the way, 78% of African-Americans who are opposed to uh, rigging the game based upon some kind of discrimination. I think most Americans believe that we ought to look for the best, uh, whatever their background is ethnically, and we ought to look for the best, whether it's in sports or the military or business or, as you point out, the Supreme Court. I think there are very uh, qualified African-American women serving on various courts right now. Uh, and I'm, I did a little tweet this morning and said, in filling Justice Breyer's position, there ought to be two standards. First, are they competent? If they don't pass that standard, no matter what, they shouldn't be there. But second, are they a liberal or are they a radical? Mm. I think that we owe some respect to the election. Biden got elected. He gets to pick a liberal the same as Trump picked conservatives. But we don't have to accept, and the Senate Republicans don't have to accept, somebody who's so radical that they will change the very nature of the court. And I think that's got to be a good... That matters more to me than the color of the person they're picking. Absolutely. No, it's a great point. It's a great point. Um, this um, presumably is a lot of encouragement for Kevin McCarthy and his group. I think they're calling it Commitment to America. Uh, the cavalry is coming for the midterms. This will give them some heft. You mentioned the school system is an abject failure. You mentioned the entire system is Ill illegal immigration is another abject failure. Tell us a little more about that, and then we'll get to the budget, balanced budget, the real fun stuff. Yeah, well, look, uh, we just passed 2 million illegal immigrants coming into the U.S. since Biden became president, a staggering number, not checked for COVID, not checked for criminal records, and in fact, uh, there are pictures now of entire groups of young males being shipped all over the country. So uh, nobody knows where they're going. The Biden administration will not tell people where they have put two million illegal immigrants. Uh, and I think that that's really a major problem, uh, both in terms of crime, in terms of who's paying for it. Uh, and, of course, you have the governor of California suggesting that he would like to provide free health care to every illegal immigrant who can get to California, which, if, if that gets known worldwide, you ought to expect 10 or 15 million illegal immigrants to show up because they're going to get free health care, mm. uh, you know, th thanks to him. Yep. But I, I think that that's a very dangerous, very bad model. And uh, is the opposite of what you and I are about to talk about, which is what we ought to do is reset the house, if you will, get back to a balanced budget, right. make the Trump tax cuts permanent, and, uh, frankly, balance the budget by accelerating economic growth and cutting out waste and corruption. Uh, and as you know, I led the effort. We had four straight years of a balanced budget for the only time in your lifetime. I know we can do it, and I know it will do a lot 
to make government of Washington more manageable. What I love about that section, the balanced budget, growth, tax cuts, spending, is you, you hang it on rebuild our capacity to renew the world's reserve currency. I mean, that is so important. And by the way, with this spat with Putin and the Ukraine, you know, we should be taking advantage of the dollar as the world's reserve currency because the global banking system depends on the dollar and we could chop Putin right off. But we couldn't do that with Putin or with China if we don't make sure the world's reserve currency is the world's reserve currency. That, that's right. I think anybody who's sophisticated realizes that actually the value of the dollar is more important than our aircraft carriers, more important than our, our aircraft. It gives us a, an invisible power everywhere in the world. And I remember back uh, in 1956 when Britain and France uh, went into Egypt because uh, Nasser had seized the Suez Canal. Eisenhower simply told them that he would break their economies if they didn't back out. And within a matter of days, they had reversed their policy because the truth was we had that capacity. We have that capacity with Putin right now. We could cut off his economy overnight uh, if we were determined to do so. Yes, sir. Never enough time, but Newt Gingrich, thank you very much. America needs an honest adult conversation. You. All right. And these are the key topics. Thank you, Newt Gingrich.